The probes has spoken, Aubrey's survivor advantages are bye bye. El Gonzo post extinction island. Survivor, Edge of Extinction has been quite stingy about offering clues as to how this super secret. At least to the players who aren't voted out, new Limbo Land twist killed with outcasts will figure in the main game. But Thursday's double sized edition certainly revealed plenty. All six eliminated players Reem Daly, Keith Soule, Rick Devins, Aubrey Bracco, and Wendy Diaz opted to hang out on the rather dismal island with hopes of returning. As the preview showed for Episode 7 shows, not only do the Kama, Manu, and Lisa tribes merge next week, but the Edge of Extinction gang is back as well. Jeff Probes told Entertainment Weekly that what happens next is epic. But that opens up a question or two. Keith returns with a disadvantage, a knotted rope, that he can foist upon his biggest threat. Chris found a bundle of sticks and some twine that he was told to use as practice, perhaps for fire. Rick, meanwhile, found an extra vote advantage that he sent anonymously to Aubrey. As it happens, Aubrey who also found her very first idol on her third season was uncomfortable with her good fortune and would have rather remained an underdog. Dot instead, she was flimplanned by her conniving tribe mate Victoria Bamond, who suggested that she, her and Wendy could form an alliance and go after the Manu guys, Eric Hayton and Gavin Whitson, instead. Dot as a result. Aubrey failed to use either her idol or her extra vote in an epic blindside. While Gold Derby poll respondents picked Aubrey to be the edge dweller they most wanted to see back in the game, it seems that even though she is still on the show, the extra vote and idol are null and void. Dot here is an image from Survivor Reddit of the note that came with her idol. The final word on the matter comes from Probst, who confirmed to Entertainment Weekly that they are by bite. El Gonzo. Thank for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Your support is our motivation. Thank you.